Hey there, Alcohol Inc. community. I hope you are having a fun time learning and playing in this year's fall conference. I am very honored that you joined me today. And this was a challenging and fun painting to do, and I hope I was able to show you a technique or two that you may not have known. So let's go play. So welcome back. Green chili enchilada sauce. I don't even use this. I'm not even sure why I have it. But anyway, I have it. It works great. Love it. Don't know how it tastes, but I love it. I just want to do some... <laughs> I just want to do something. After, after I do like these two circles, I have no idea what I'm going to do next. So, hang with me. And you know that's how I roll. So, I'm just going to put a little bit of alcohol around here. I'm using latte. You can use anything, of course. But I don't put a ton because I don't want it, like, really a thick, I don't think. I don't think. Maybe I do. Maybe I'll, like, play over here a little bit. So, I expanded my alcohol. Okay, anyway. Okay, let's see if I can do this one a little bit, little, you know, not as much. There. I'm just going to put a little. I mean, you're almost thinking you're not putting enough. That's how little you want to put if you want this thin line. Yeah, I like this one much better. But, you know, hey. Um, I'm going to do... Let me get a piece of paper. Let me just use what I was using. We'll just do that. Um, brown. Okay, ignore this because this is from... Before. Okay, so so far I used, let's catch up. This is sepia. And latte is what I used. Um, I like to do this so you can kind of see the palette. Alright, sepia, I want to do, I'm going to take my airbrush, and I'm just going to do, little squirrely things. I like to see where my no plans go because as I do something I'm like oh that gives me another idea I want to make this one viney And I'm just putting about a drop about every inch, inch and a half, and keep going around with it. Yeah, I kind of like this. Okay, so on the inside, I kind of think I want to go this way. This looks pretty cool. Yeah. 
yeah, that's stinking cool. Um, do I want to do the other one? Yeah, might as well. Okay, I'm going to do it all. how I love to paint. It's like start with one thing and you can't think any farther. You have to think on the move because I would have never thought about wrapping this in this little squiggle like it's a, uh, what is that? Grapevine wreath? Yeah, those. So now that leads me to even more things in my head. As far as how to blow these, yeah, just blow them. I, I don't have a game plan. I don't have a skill. It just, I blow and just do that. There's a point I do try to chase it because now it's taken off and gone nuts. That's pretty cool. Does anybody else see uh, Christmas cards? <laughs> or cards in general? I mean, because now I'm thinking, I want to put a flower or something. What am I going to do? Huh. Yeah, that's... I'm going to do something down here like this. Um, my thinking is maybe do some leaves down here. I need to really... I've struggled with that wedge the last two times I've used it. Um, do I want any other colors? I can still do some after. So, I'm going to put down my... What is this? Olive green? I usually use sap green. This is a little more yellowy. Um, I am going to mix these two in my leaves. Do I? Yes. Maybe a little bit of blue. Um, there's some brown. I know it's sitting right here. There it is. This is phthalo. It's a dark. But it's um, kind of got some purpley to it.
Oh, don't re go redo it, but I have to now because I started. I lost some of my green. There, I'll just add something like that. I don't know what it is. I can't do it. Alright, there's some more sepia. You know, I am sitting here struggling, but you know, I think some of these are thicker than others. That... That might be something. I think that was my deal a while ago. I think that's why I do not use the olive green. I think that's why I use the sap green. Okay, so that's something to look at because look how bad that's run. This, look how it just, it's not going to run that way. Okay, olive, you're out. Sap, you're in. Hmm. Okay. All that just kind of hit me there because I was thinking, geez. Yeah, already. So I'm going to leave that. I kind of like that. It's a little weird, but. All right, so I'm going to do this because I really want to get some of this out. I almost think a flower needs to go there, but that's so predictable. Um, whew, let's see. I don't like the two rings. I don't believe much. So let's do maybe this tiny one. I just, oh, I don't even know. Um, Very little. So this means I need to go and do all my uh, squigglies.
You know, flowers got to go somewhere, right? Okay. Valencia and Blanco. Don't have to get enough layers of this to cover up the leaves underneath. Okay, I'm about to get there. I like this way of making flowers. Okay. That's awesome. <laughs> I kind of like this. <laughs> okay. Hmm. I really feel like I need a leaf right there, don't I? I don't know what I'm dipping in. Now yeah, I'm going to leave it. Yep, I've lost my mojo. Need some brown throat, don't it? I'll put some white on it in a minute. I don't want that. That's that's not they're gonna bother me. All right, now what? Sun bright yellow. I'm putting down the white to kind of make a kind of dull out that background. Because you can already see it coming through. I'm okay with that. I'm going to put some more on there. 
but this will help out initially. I don't know how I'm going to indicate the petals, but get there when we get there, I guess. Did you know I like to outline and write? <laughs> I like to outline. All right. Well, this is interesting, though, considering I didn't know what I was wanting to do. Um, I want a leaf or two here. I just, I'm going to put white in it. I, I couldn't, I can't just, the Some of this is terrible. Oh, I like that, putting some water in it, making it a little thinner. Yeah. <sighs> that needs some more yellow. Okay, I'm going to put some orange like buds or something. 
This is vermilion, vermilion, I want brown. I think I'm, I do. I think I want one over here. I wasn't going to, but I wonder what this will look like. Just put a streak through there. Just something to kind of mess that up. I don't think I like the color. I think the color is what's bugging me. Mix the brown in with it and make it darker. Yeah, that was the color. Okay. one will do. I'm, I'm struggling with that. I don't know that I, I don't I don't know. I like it but I want it to have indications of petals. So this is one we'll try. That just a one drop, one drop because I don't want it to be big. I don't want it to go far. And I'm gonna do this. That will give me some indications of petals. Maybe. <laughs> Doesn't seem to be doing it, but it's better.
All right, that made it a little better, I will have to say. So I'm gonna try to do this on the yellow. If I can't get the same thing. A little bit of white on those leaves and kind of calm them down just a tinkling bit because they're kind of nuts. I'm also going to use a little bit of a card to to make it blotchy. So something like. that it's the colors are still there it's just not going to be stark And they are a little white, I mean, uh, wet. So just, just enough, see how that just messed it up just a little. And this is just kind of scraping it along. Up in here, that could stand a little bit of squiggles, I think. I'm kind of done with my flowers. I don't really want those out there, but
trying to get it to go out that way. I have to say, this is a little stressful. Um, it was funny because I, I, I felt like at one point I didn't leave myself an out to even do anything, but I kept putting stuff places that seemed to work okay. When this dries, I'm going to put a little cap on the bottom of that. Light, I'm not, I don't know. I think I'm going to wash over it just a little bit, calm it down. I like it, but it's just a little white. So I've watered down some of my acrylics and I'm just kind of making a wash and putting over it and just kind of blending it out, making it a little less stark. There. I think that's I think that's well. Okay, I am back. It's dried. I took a breather. And I'm ready to tackle again. So, right off the bat, I see this needs brightening. So, I'm going to pour me some more orange here. And I'm taking, this is a number six. So, I'm taking a number six brush. And I'm just going to go back over this and brighten it. Because it's just mushed with the background a little bit. This one's all right. Okay, so I'm good. Um, okay, I I need some brown squigglies here. Um, I, it seems like I have some here, here, and here. Nothing here. I kind of want to put some there, so I'm gonna do that. Just something like that. Maybe something right there. Just a little. Just want to barely dot. There we go. Okay. I've got to tackle this, and I'm a little nervous because I'm not sure 100% what I want to do. And um. Still not. So let me see. I think what I'm going to do is put some black centers, do the typical white. I, I'm gonna glitter. I'm just I'm just gonna gonna gonna. I might think about putting um I don't have yellow glitter. So, yeah, I may have to just uh, put down that stickler from Tim Holtz. And if I want it colored, I can touch it with either alcohol ink, which runs, so be careful with that, or just take a marker and kind of color it up. So, that's probably what I'll do. Um, let's go ahead and do that. Let me get that out of the way, because that's something I do know, and it's something that I can get done and not stress over. So, let's see. Um, these flowers really need to be looking this way because they're not all going to look at you. So, I'm going to do um, more of this type of hump right here. And maybe that. Same way here, kind of go straight-ish and then make a little bit of a... Something, yeah. Uh, okay, hey. This one, this one can look straight. Uh, I don't mind it looking straight, so... But I don't want to round, I just, you know, I don't... I 
I know. What is it? Okay. So there's that. And y'all went easy. Um, yeah, I feel so much better having that done. So, yeah, that was probably a big thing that I was not liking and that was bugging me. So my pen needs reprimed because it's not putting a lot of ink down. On the other hand, kind of liking it. Uh, I want more of the light on the top, and then this one up here. Yeah, now I need to get some ink down to it. And with these, let me show you how to do these. If you don't know, if you get them and you're like, these don't work. Because I sit there was like, they've sent me empty pens. you got to prime it up. And you just kind of push. And eventually it'll... There. See it? Got a good amount. The bad thing is, is I'm going to have to... Oh, well, I can barely touch it. There we go. good with that. I want to touch these up because I'm avoiding that and I want you to think I really just and know how the order to do things. <laughs> yes. I'm avoiding and I'm going to do the yellow in this. I don't know why that's bothering me. I just I want it done. And it's not much. It's not much. It's just not much. But it'll dry and, and look interesting. This is just like a semicolon thing I'm putting on it. Are these? I'll put it on the ones that are dry. I need to let those dry. So now these are the master touch. I got these from Hobby Lobby. Um, I don't know. Oh yeah, they're brush pens. Meaning they do that and then they do that. Um, hmm. I'll try them. I don't. I don't know how happy. Uh, yeah, let's try them. I wondered why I hadn't been picking these things up and using them, and that's why. So, let's go with, uh, the Big Flower. I do have some indications, so that, just let that help you. Um, I'm going to do, I guess, I don't know if I want to do exactly along this line or just indicate. You know, I indicate that it's more playful. This doesn't seem playful. You see what I'm going to do on the white, but for the black, let me stay with the lines. All right, I'm going to come down, and I'm going to make these little indications where I'm going to put a petal. It just kind of makes that center a little more believable. I know it looks weird, but it does kind of help. Um... Okay, I'm committed now. I'm going to let the yellow, uh, even though I know that's a little orange, I'm just going to let that play on that side of the 
field. I do kind of like that they're, they're standing thick, so that this may be all right. Yeah, I don't like to. I know. Do you think so? I like that. But Okay. I'm I'm okay. I survived it. I like this. So it makes me kinda wanna come up here and see about this like that. Good to go. Alright, let's do these. Kinda Not too bad. You really have to concentrate not to press down because you will get thick. I'm not really following the lines here. I'm just kind of thinking, making you think I am because it's fun. And I like that they're really jagged, so there's just really no way to follow them. Oh, that looks funny, but anyway, yeah, I'm, I'm kind of I'm kind of okay with this. This is not too bad. Hmm. Okay, let me catch this yellow up. Now, we'll do that. Um, sort of kind of wanting to go around them, but I don't, I feel like I need to. So. So I wish I knew where I got this. Um, Flymax. I don't know who carries them. Water-based white. Um, writes really well. Um, I've been pleased. So prime it the same way. I got some pink on it. So work that off. Um, I am not 
going to go exactly with these lines. I'm going to um, just put some, a little bit of play in there. It'll just, I kind of going with it and I'm kind of doing a jaggedy, but I'm not um, staying right with it. Peeled that up. That's weird. Okay. I feel like something needs to be there. I already have something there, but you know what? I still have to splat, so something will go there. The leaves I'm disappointed in, I'll just tell you. Um, I feel like I want to paint them over, and I want to do them with a wider brush, and I'm, I'm not happy. So, my brown. This is olive green. That's a thin one. Where's my sap? Sap. And what do I have? Phthalo blue. Okay. This is my dagger. See the shape of it? Um, this is what I want. It's uh, easier to do this type thing with. Dipping it kind of in both. And practice over here. It's going to be dark. So. See, I could deal with that, I think. Yep, I can deal with that. I just the other I was just not loving.
I am liking this a little better. Not in love with it, but When that is done drying, I will kind of whitewash it a little bit with the white just to make it not so screaming. But yeah, I like that a lot better. The other stuff was, ooh, it was just tough. I do kind of want to do something with these rings. I like that. It just barely darkens it up, and it doesn't, you don't really even notice the lines. Okay. I really, really appreciate y'all hanging with me. This was a little intense. Yeah, if I had a different yellow than this neon, but I think I do. I'm not sure. I'm still collecting colors. Okay. I am going to splatter. Uh, I do want to splatter, I believe, in maybe some green. Maybe the green. And I'm not getting it just here. Because I don't have, I have green some, but not much, and I just kind of want to see it. Remember that area I said I was going to splatter? Do some white. It's amazing what white does. Mm. See that? I just oh, it's just a little bit perfect. Okay, that leaves. 
almost dry. I'm gonna take this guy. I'm gonna water me down. It's dirty water. It's green, but it just I just need enough to wash it with it. Not even everywhere. Just a spot here and there. through that white paint. It's all right because it's lighter. I do like that. I'm going to call this quits. What do y'all think? <laughs> it's been a lot of fun. All right, y'all go have fun, and God bless you. Okay, y'all go have fun. God bless.